This is half of the geothermal unit that I built. It's a uh, water to water heater. It's for heating water that circulates through the concrete floor and heats the floor and the house and the dining room, the kitchen and the master bathroom. I just got it running a few days ago. It seems to be running pretty good. I've got some refinements to make. This is just kind of roughed in right now. Mainly I'll cut this tube down by about two feet. You know, it needs to come down to about there. The uh, It's using one of the two loops that I've buried in the ground, six feet deep, 300 foot trench for uh, 600 feet of tubing for each loop. There's two loops. The other loop later on will be used for a uh, water to air unit that will heat and cool the master bedroom. There's three pumps involved. This one circulates the ground water. This one circulates the water through the floor. And there is a circulating pump inside this 15 gallon blue tank. It's just an aquarium pump that agitates water around the uh, condensing coil of the uh, refrigeration unit to uh, remove the heat from it. There's got a couple thermometers here recording temperatures. This is the uh, the top number is the temperature of the water inside the 15 gallon tank and the bottom number is the temperature of the water that's entering the refrigeration unit the, it's coming out of the ground. Then uh, this temp, this uh, thermometer is measuring that top number. The bottom number doesn't mean anything. The top number is uh, water temperature coming out of the floor. So you can see the 91.8 degrees minus the 81.6 is about a 10 degree temperature drop. So this is uh, rejecting heat into the floor at the rate of about uh, 10 degrees and the pump is pumping 1.2 gallons per minute. It comes up to about 7,000 BTUs per hour. I made all this. The, uh, this just spa tubing with the copper refrigerant line running through the center of it. And the compressor I got out of an old air conditioner. The other two loops, or the other loop, just sitting there capped off. This is where I came up through the uh, slab underneath the footing. I need to uh, fill that in. I don't know if I'm going to use spray foam, expanding foam, or concrete. And all this is just plugged into a uh, power strip which is plugged into this wall over here with an amp meter on it and that tells me how much electricity everything is using that includes the pumps and the compressor and out here where the yards all tore up is where the ground loops are buried it comes out there in this flat area and zigzags back and forth the trenches are spaced at about 17 feet apart and out there and my neighbor is nice enough to let me borrow his tractor to level it all off once it settles and dries up the temperature of the floor in this area is 73 and a half degrees and over here in the entrance way where we don't have any uh, radiant heat it's quite a bit cooler So it doesn't seem like a lot to be just 73 degrees, but when you walk on it, it does feel warm. And today, the uh, thermostat's been set on 56 since about 5:30 this morning, and it's right now it's 10 o'clock, and it's maintaining 60 degrees. 
which isn't too bad uh, even though it's only 7,000 BTUs it runs 24-7 but it's only a dollar a day to run it and that's not too bad considering the outdoor temperature right now is only 35 degrees that was at 10 a.m. this morning so it's working pretty good I'm happy with it uh, next big project to get the uh, mounted and uh, start heating and air conditioning in the master bedroom with it and it'll be fun to see what my loop temperatures do this is our new TV I built this stand out of this uh, remnants from the wood floor that we installed a year ago it's uh, Australian cypress wood and I inlaid those tiles in the door the uh, surround sound receivers behind those doors with the uh, remote control repeater the repeater picks up the remote control signal from this thing here so that it can operate through the door that wire right there and operate that uh, receiver without having the door open. Concrete slab. <laughs> 